uh, we've got some pixel blading ink and a nano pixel blade. We are just going to dip barely the tip and I'm going to show you the trick here. Um, so first of all, I'm actually going to show you this on my hand. Sorry, I'm playing with pencils over here, so ignore that. So here's the trick. You don't want to, actually I'm going to do it right here. You don't want to go down and then just lift. I'm going to just down and lift, down and lift. Sometimes you can hear the tiny little pricky sound. What you want to do is go down, press, and then you flick forward as you lift. Down, flick forward as you lift. Down, flick forward as you lift. So you're actually kind of going down, J. Down, J. Down, J. Down, J. Down, J. Down, J. And that's how you're going to deposit pigment super quickly and easily. So again, we're going to go stamp down, flick forward, stamp down, flick forward. Down, flick forward. And so sometimes it's kind of hard to see the full motion I'm doing. But it's down, flick, down, flick. So stamp all the way down and don't put a ton of pressure, just enough to get those needles in the skin. But that's the trick. You've got to get that not only stamp, but flick in order to get pigment in. And the more you go over them, the more it's going to give the appearance of microblading. Or you can leave them kind of lighter and more airy. So see if you do a you know a few more passes, that's where you end up with more saturation. I don't know why I made these strokes so teensy, like I'll redo this at some point, but I just wanted to show you one more time. So it's down, it's not just down stamp up, it's down flick. Alright. Hope this hope this helps. Here is some pixel blading we did today. So just like microblading except you tap in the pigment instead of slice it in. It gives the same super realistic hair stroke look, but it's healthier on your skin, lasts longer, heals better. This is her annual touch up and we upgraded to pixel blading. Love.